What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling wonderful today. So, for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just the greatest, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy how yourself is brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based on our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going, boy, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. Because there'll be plenty of them, Cancer. <laughs> and just so y'all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me, never force a reading on a situation, and everything will be dope, Cancer. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's just get into it. <laughs> Your Space has been cleansed. Crystals. Feeling lovely. Just great angel around here. Cancer. And Cancer, happy Mercury Day. It's uh, Wednesday. Hope you're feeling uh, intellectual. Been thinking a lot. Cancer, pondering some things. And if not, this is a great time to do some reflection. Cancer, because the moon is going void, of course. <laughs> like that. I don't know. I could, I could do a little bit better on that, Cancer. But with the void, of the moon is going to be going void, of course, at about 4.46 in the morning. And that's going to be Eastern time. And then she'll be moving from Scorpio and Sagittarius at around uh, 10.05 in the morning. So we're looking at about a 10, or excuse me, 10 hour, 5 hour and a 19 minute void of course there in the Cancer. Thank you. And with the Void of Course Energy, this is a great um, great time for just kind of recharging your batteries, doing some meditation, some deep breathing, just kind of finding yourself cancer. We feel so much all the time, and it's good to just kind of reset and just kind of find yourself again and all the emotions that you may have picked up from around your environment, you know, because we really are very sensitive intuitives in that sense. So something to think about there, cancer. And also, too, you may notice that people may be less likely to make decisions during this time, and also that... Um, your plans may be subject to under, unexpected changes. So just something to keep uh, keep an eye out for there, Cancer. And then with the waxing, uh, no, with the moon in Sagittarius, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's a very optimistic energy for the moon to be in Cancer. You might notice that you're full of uh, just more of like, um, just brighter energy and just kind of seeing on the brighter side of things. You know, they really do bring an enthusiasm and an optimism that us is really great. You also might be feeling too, like uh, feeling more adventurous, Cancer, wanting to try new things, maybe, be, maybe feeling like you want to be more on the go you know maybe going for a walk or maybe going for a drive hopping onto a i don't know if you got public transportation around you maybe exploring somewhere you've never been before cancer just kind of really broaden your horizons you know being jupiter ruled they sagittarius is all about that kind of like seeking the seeking just you know some things that are just bigger than themselves they're cancer but um oh what else oh one more thing Sagittarius, and I feel this isn't talked about like quite en enough, you know, be considering, you know, I feel when we think about Jupiter, you know, they also rule Pisces. We can focus on how spiritual and how psychic Pisces can be. But Sagittarius is a very spiritual sign as well to be able to have those. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a this is a great energy for kind of getting in touch with that. Um, that sort of like inspired energy is what um, I feel like Sagittarius brings. You know, they're very much, um, if you, I have, I know, so I got a Sag I know who, uh, I mean, would just drop, just, just gold if you allow them to just kind of get as far as like ideas go. So pay attention to that as well, Cancer. I actually want to say when, um, when I was getting ready to start this channel, it was around the time. Or it was like I had a shift during like when the sun was moving in the Sagittarius. That was like a real kind of bright idea that I had. So pay attention to that energy there, Cancer. And then with the waxing crescent phase, this is about setting your intentions, you know, whatever it is that whatever seeds that you planted during the new moon phase. Now we're starting to water that bad boy and we're trying to get really kind of getting to the planning stages of that and really kind of strategizing and figuring out how we can kind of build up that dream and keep that up, keep that momentum going, you know, great energy for um, self-confidence and self-assurance, things along those lines there, Cancer. And then last few things, these readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings, so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. 
than the decks that I'm working with. I've included links to them down in the description box below, so definitely check that out if you're interested. But also down below are some links for some other reasons. Look at all these hand size. But also down below are some readers, uh, links for some other readers that I like watching Cancer, so definitely check them out. I think you'd enjoy them. But let's get into your general energy of the day. Oh, Cancer, and I feel something. Look at us. Let's talk about a big old explosion of ideas because you got the fifth card of um, Leo's here, which is the dynamite card. And with this card, this is a card of excitement, passion, action, suspense, destroy, powder keg, fantastic, energetic, break up, catalyst for change, explosive, short fuse, firecracker, blast, sudden and un unexpected, and fast. Ooh, I feel like I'm talking a million miles a minute, Cancer, and the energy that's coming through there is the action. <laughs> and maybe that's what's going on here, Cancer, because I feel like that if, I feel like for some, if we've been... I don't know if we, I feel like for some, we've been kind of dragging our feet on, on a particular situation, you know, whether we've been, and this could be something as simple as like maybe needing to do some work around the house, or this could even be something even a little bit bigger, you know, as far as like maybe we're thinking about changing jobs possibly, or maybe even pursuing a different type of career, or, you know, got this, I, you know, speaking of inspired energy with Sagittarius, you know, maybe we've been feeling just inspired to, I don't know, maybe start a hobby or maybe go on, um, go on a trip or something this i feel like is a great energy for or is promoting you to take action and if we're not cancer you know what is that what is preventing that or you know what is yeah like because hmm. I'm, I'm getting a lot here cancer it feels that it's like for some it's like if we're afraid to like make a move for example i feel like with a um Let's say like for a job, you know, maybe we want to change, change, um, maybe work into a new position. Like go from like uh, getting to a managerial position, but maybe we're afraid to take action because of there's more responsibilities that need to be had. Or maybe we're thinking about moving locations, but maybe the, the fear there is that, you know, we're, you know, how we're going to, do we know anyone there? How's that going to look? You know, is this really the right decision? Like, it just feels like, you know, it's like there's this about like, almost like this evaluating type of energy that's like if there are just like certain aspects in your in your on your life or here recently that have been really kind of like pushing you in a sense it's like been this like nagging feeling in your head it's just like what is preventing you from taking that action there cancer and really kind of yeah pursuing this but let's um let's get some terror on this and get some details You know, sorry about that cancer. Partway why I should probably feel like my head is swimming. I just did a personal reading for someone. And I think um, I'm going to take a note out of, out, of, out of this book here, cancer. I'm going to start doing some personal readings here soon. I think I'm, I'm getting everything set up here as far as... Oh, look at you, Taurus. Oh, and our ruler. <laughs> Hold on. Focus. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing some uh, some personal readings here, too, and some chart analysis and things. I'm I'm working on making that more legit and talking about that more. So this is the first real official one there, Cancer, so stay tuned for that. I'm thinking towards, like, the end of the month is when I should have everything all all figured out there. But Cancer, look at this energy that you got coming through here because you got divine counterparts. You got, I love this. So you got the Hierophant, the High Priest is our ruler, the Star card, the King of Crystals, and then the Three of Crystals here, Cancer. And that's interesting, I feel, like with the Three of Crystals kind of being here because it seems like that there is this, this energy, Cancer, maybe of Because I feel like when we get those, like, inspired ideas or we get those, like, kind of nagging feelings in our head as far as, like, oh, like, I should be doing this thing or, you know, like, I want to make more time for this or, you know, like, that's what, those are, like, I feel like those are, like, those intuitive type of messages are, that are kind of being channeled through. And I feel like that it's, like, it was, like, it's, like. I almost feel like for some, it's like we tell ourselves that we're going to get around to it eventually, you know, but we know that if we were to get to it a lot faster, you know, just start taking actions as they made sense, that we'd get, like, kind of get out of this funk. And that's sort of, maybe that's what this is, you know, it's just like, there's a need to kind of really just tune into your intuition because the high, the hierophant and the high priestess are the, are the, are the most powerful intuitives in the, in the tarot. And...
it feels like with the hierophant that maybe for some it's like we're let's say for example if we want to start our own business it would be something that it's because it's kind of going against you know what is what is traditional or maybe what is kind of like orthodox and things you know we want to kind of stay in that in that sort of uh, in that sort of field and again there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like there's you know even if this is not something where for example this is like a business move you don't necessarily have to make this your career but maybe even we just like take action as like a side hobby you know because there's clearly something that's wanting to be expressed here because where the high priestess is a little more personal with how she deals with her emotions and things the hierophant is one that's meant to share and It kind of feels like with the star card here too that maybe maybe we're this we're afraid to take this action because we don't feel that we'll have the support that we need or I don't know say like if we share this thing possibly that it won't be hmm I don't know if it's not that it won't be supported but I do feel like this is something that is has been weighing on our mind here cancer as of late with the king of crystals and it's like it's like we're coming at it from maybe like too logical of a standpoint. There's a mix. There's a need to kind of get this balance. I hope this is making sense. It's like there's this mix of needing to do kind of not just follow your head, but also follow your heart as well. And then like really kind of connect with that intuitive side of you. It may not make sense why we be get, why we're getting these 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 downloads in a sense or having these things kind of stuck in our head or maybe seeing these different signs but it's like if we pursue them then it all kind of like locks in in the end but let me get a little bit more on this uh king of crystals here because i feel like the longer we don't take action on this stuff cancer the more we're we're kind of denying ourselves that um we're denying a part of ourselves in a sense, you know, that wants to, I don't know, be creative or wants to manifest or. And I feel like a famous line, too, is that something like, oh, I don't have enough time in the day or something along those lines. And you got to be careful about that, too, Cancer, because, you know, we, if we our thoughts become things. And if we keep telling ourselves that, then that'll be what is true. But let me see what let me see what's going on here with this uh, King of Crystals. Interesting. Wow. A couple very action-packed cards here, Cancer. So the King of Crystals is clarified by the Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. And the Queen of Wands, she's the type that she don't even think once about it. If she's, if she's like, if something inspires her, if something really great starts, like, if she, if this is a passion of hers, whatever it's looking like, bet. Queen of Wands is the one that's just like, let's do it. Because she's, I don't know, these, these cards here. Because even thinking about uh, the star card, this is Aquarius energy, and they're ruled by Uranus. Uranus is like those those flashes of inspiration, those innovative ideas and things. And it feels like for some that it's just like maybe we can't, don't feel like we can take action because it's, I don't know, it's just like the idea, it either feels too broad or it's just like we're limiting ourselves as far as like what we can do. It's like we need to, again, like kind of think outside of the box a little bit and this might be something where, just even thinking with their energy, this could be something where we ask for some help, you know, kind of get some ideas, maybe from a, maybe from like a Queen of Wands type someone. I, I'm, not, I'm not, that's interesting how that's coming through, but the Two of Wands is a card of action. This is like Aries' hottest card. This is Mars and uh, Aries. And, and Queen of Wands is Aries too for me. And... I feel like if we just, I don't know, Cancer, we keep that, if we keep that energy kind of bottled up and we, we, we ignore those feelings, it does. It just keeps us down in this funk, you know, and it's because it's like it's like we're we're telling our, our it's like we're telling our hearts like, no, no, you can't do that. Like, no, I can't do this or, you know, like, hmm. Yeah, if you can't listen to your intuition, Cancer. I feel like the, the moon is trying to. uh yeah, trying to trying to get you, I don't know, trying to get you inspired or really kind of getting you to kind of follow your, make more time to take action on these dreams or maybe even like, and this could even be too, Cancer. This one more thing. This can be some stuff that we might be putting off as far as like, because we know it's not going to like, 
I'm thinking, for example, this is like if we're not in a great relationship and we need to break things off or if we have maybe some... I'm even kind of getting like bills, possibly even. It's just like, you know, those harder things that we don't want to deal with that, that are not so fun. But it's just like if we get take action and get this stuff out of the way, then we won't keep perpetuating that sadness. You know, if we the sooner that we take action, it's like it's like when you when they tell you just just rip the bandaid off. It may not feel is it going to feel great in that moment? Not exactly, but it's going to feel better than if we're pulling it individually. And it's just like you yanking one hair at a time and then you end up backing off on it. And then it just things start to start to fester their cancer but all right hopefully that makes sense cancer all right let's get um let's get some more on the mix here going on here oh awful lot of people here cancer so you have the hmm so you have the page of cups the queen of stars and then you got one of these special major arcana in this deck which is the flower of life now let's start with the page of cups here because i feel like for some that there is this the page of cups really kind of follows what the, the he follow, like they follow what they or I don't want to put this the page of cups really she follows what she follows like what her her heart is telling her you know it's like those one of those things when it's like I feel like it's like similar to like um almost like a cancer in the sense this card usually reminds me of Pisces but I'm getting kind of our energy a little bit more in the sense of like when we feel inspired and we feel excited about something I feel like cancer really kind of jumps at that thing and really kind of wants to nurture that to completion but I almost feel like that like let's say for example if we want to be an artist you know because the page of cups is a very kind of artistic type of uh type of court card and it feels like that for some maybe we're worried about the resources that we that we may not have or you know feel like that there's it's just like that something's missing in order for us to take this action you know whether this be i don't know if like if we're making a move because we're not sure about as far as like job and places for example or but I feel like you're more resourceful than you than you realize, Cancer. And this could be something we're considering these people that are starting to rack up here. Maybe it's like kind of asking for help. Or, you know, it's just like as you go to talk about these moves, maybe some will offer this help. Because even the star card could be a card of unexpected help. And even the... And that's interesting kind of with the flower of life here. It feels that there is this energy of... Of... Hmm... Because the flower of life is like because there are two cards you know there's the there's the self and then the flower of life and this sort of thinks about things and thinks about um us our actions or the, our energies in a broader type of sense as far as like as a as a soul tribe as a collective and i almost feel like for some okay that if we this is more so if we have some sort of like ideas in things i feel like that if we don't take these actions then i feel like it's just going to pop out somewhere else you know like or someone else is going to pick up on that frequency and then take that action and then we're going to see as opposed to being one of the trailblazers possibly that is some energy that's coming through here cancer so if this is something where maybe you have like this like sort of like innovative idea where you want to oh i don't know i'm i'm uh, so apparently i'm not feel, <laughs> the inspiration head is, is still working my way cancer but whatever inspired idea that you might be keeping to yourself right now or you know that's something like oh that's a, that's a crazy idea like there's no way that i could do that or something along those lines again we're getting ready to get into the age of really settle into the age of aquarius once pluto moves there and we're going to really be in a time of innovation and i feel like the only crazy idea is the one that's not being implemented right now you know definitely um 
we may not know how we're going to achieve it or where we're going to get the resources from it, but where there's, if we're following, if we're tuning in again to our, like our higher forces and things, things tend to fall into place. Like, yes, there's work that's going to need to be done, but I don't know, Queen of Stars, she's really tuned into the signs, you know, where it's like, oh, this feels like, it, this feels like a good time to be, like, hmm, let me get a little bit, bit more on her. Oh, and there's hubby in the death card. So cancer, the queen of stars is clarified by the king of stars and the, and then uh, like I said, the death card. Oh, and by the way, cancer, the stars in this deck are pentacles and then the crystals in this deck are swords. But I feel that cancer, I don't know that this death card here, I feel like it could lead to some, some really cool change, you know. But I feel there's a, a like a need to kind of like surrender to this idea of not knowing maybe how we're going to maybe take action or how things are going to get done. But no, it's like it's making, it's surrendering, like, I, I, I'm not, it's like that there's, there's going to be this energy of, that things will be more stable than we realize. It's, it may, again, it seems a little maybe a little foggy or things right now just because we haven't maybe really entertained the idea possibly and and the more that we the further that we pursue this thing along and start taking action cancer i just feel like things really do start falling into place in a really kind of beautiful way and then you're really kind of harmonizing with the universal energies i feel like is kind of what also this flower of life is giving me but all right, Cancer, and you know what? Jupiter's all about expansion and taking action, so let's get a little advice from uh, big old Papa Jupiter, see what's going on here. And I mean, really, Cancer, you do got a lot of support there. I feel like, look, when you when, when you needed the resources or when we weren't sure about the resources, hubby popped up there. You know, it's... Um, hmm. And this might be something too, maybe if we're like starting a business, maybe this is like, you know, getting a business partner possibly, but. Hmm. All right, Cancer. All right, last little bit here. Interesting. All right, Cancer. Oh, <laughs> well, it's a prime. You have a lot of major arcanas here, Cancer. So you have the Seven of Crystals, the Eight of Crystals, the Lover, and the Judgment card here. And let's switch back over. And I like that, Cancer. I do feel like that with the Judgment card. It's like something's asking you to just like there's pay attention to those. I don't know, it's like something is calling you to take some, some kind of action. It's just like, again, this could be maybe making a move or maybe starting a business or maybe pursuing even like a relationship, possibly. Even just thinking with that, since you got King and Queen of Stars and Hierophant, uh, High Priestess there. And the lovers. You know, maybe this is something where we're, again, we're just like, we're putting ourselves in this box as far as like, we're, we're restricting ourselves and, and getting into those, I'm almost getting to that, like, a lot of, like, future thinking as a part. It's like, well, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? What, how could it go wrong this way or that way or this way? But, you know, on the flip side, Cancer, what if it goes right? You know, what if it leads you to great opportunities? You know, and of course, there's going to be challenges whether you stay stagnant or you decide to pursue this thing and to, to, to bid this change. But I feel like with the Seven of Crystals here, it is to say that we can't do this thing is 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 a it 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 limits ourselves, you know, and I feel like we want to be be mindful of that. I'm almost even getting kind of like moon energy, where it's just like journeying and journeying into the unknown and seeing what where that takes you, and. 
because even too the lovers for me can be like it's kind of like a higher self kind of like winking at you letting you know just like uh i don't know again sending those kind of divine messages and maybe this is something where we need to communicate with our spirits and, and trying to see where things are kind of taking you or hmm All right, Cancer. But I think I'm going to leave that there. I, do, I hope that made sense. Yeah, I was like, I feel like that was going like a million miles a minute there. That was, uh, that was an interesting reading there, Cancer. And uh, if you like that, give it a thumbs up. Everything resonated with you. And share this, Cancer. You know, if you know someone who's been like kind of dragging their feet on something or, you know, feels like they can't get, get I don't know, it's like we can't get something accomplished or, hmm, something along those lines. But, and then, uh, have all you uh, high priestesses <laughs> subscribe, I don't know, subscribe, hit that bell button, get notified on all these videos each day. And then last little bit, Cancer, you know, take your sun, your moon, your rising, your Pluto, your, uh, what other planets did you get? I think that's all the planets you got. Check your Jupiter, just take your chart, Cancer. And, um, oh, your moon too, if I didn't say that. And then come over to my other channel, Alchemist State. I do videos, uh, I do weekly videos, monthly ones, yearly ones. It's a good old time, Cancer. And all that housekeeping is down in the description box below. But let me, I don't know, I was about to invite you over. But uh, let me get you some prize cards here. What's the love? So I can get you out of here, Cancer. Getting your sunlight. Getting your happiness. Getting, and, and, and I feel like it's like, I don't know. It's like, even with this, it's like seeing things clearly with, with the sun card being here. You know, there's this, it's just like, it's, I feel like it's like when we realize that that we have maybe been limiting ourselves in a sense or it's 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 just like things start to come together and it's like you know we start getting the sense of happiness and sense of fulfillment and sense of hmm And just things just start getting brighter here, you know, cuz it's like yeah sure you got a couple of little, little intense cards there with the with the all these crystals, three, seven, and eight of crystals, but that doesn't mean that we can't get to this, um, get to this finish line here, that there's not going to be sunlight at the end of this, uh, end of this, um, whatever this, this new opportunity or thing is that's trying to, to beckon you here, Cancer, but let me get your, uh, let me get your oracle cards here so I can get you out of here. Oh, oh, interesting, Cancer. So you have the 54th card here, which is the Ashwagandha card. I love Ashwagandha, which is the card of purpose, a yeah, yeah, purpose card. And this is ruled by the uh, North Node and the Moon here. Look at the High Priestess. But, and maybe that's for some, maybe we're... And that's an interesting kind of take on the flower of life, too, because it's like maybe for some... We're not sure what action to take because we are thinking about, like, what other people may be doing. I'm even kind of getting, like, a Five of Swords vibes where it's, like, we may be kind of comparing ourselves to, to like, other people's successes and things. And that's kind of preventing us from taking action. But I feel that it's not thinking of, it's thinking about who what you want to accomplish and what you're meant to do and what your 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 soul is trying to um, to guide you. You know, it's it's very interesting, Cancer, you know. My north node is in, now the sign is usually generational, mine's in Capricorn, but um, it's in the sixth house, and it's like taking the stuff that I've mastered from the twelfth house, and like, you know, spirituality and things, and applying that into like a day-to-day -day routine, which is, t took me a minute, but we're, but, we're, but we're getting there, you know, and it's just like, how does that kind of translate for you, you know, what, whatever that looks like, and that's where I say, you know, like, in house placements, you know, the time of birth is, is a, is an important one there, but it's just like, even knowing just on even the sign that it's in, you know, cancer is about the home space and cause that's where my South node is. It's like, and it's um, about the home space and things, but now this, you know, my soul, this journey wants to be more in the public eye and to kind of do something, you know, kind of build some things outside of the home space to journey out there and get, find out what accomplishments, you know, all that stuff, cancer. So you know, I feel like a lot of deep questioning here is asking us, and you know, and then once you, once your energies are kind of lined up, it makes it easier for you to take action and to, you know, trust your, and I feel like it's trusting your intuition that it's going to lead you, that your guides are leading you to your highest vibration, so. 
lot to think about there, Cancer. <laughs> but, you know, that's what Sagittarius energy is about, thinking about that expansive energy. So this is a good one to be into when you're thinking about this stuff. So work with these energies, Cancer. But stay safe out there in whatever it is that you're you're taking actions on. You know, again, maybe this is a love. Maybe this is a journey, whatever that's looking like. But yeah, keep, uh, stay safe, Cancer. You keep eyes on the moon. <laughs> I love when the high priestess, she's been popping out a lot more lately. You know, I feel like people are getting more, you know, I feel like she's trying to get us all into get more to trust that intuition a little bit more, to trust that inner voice. And then to allow, once we listen, once we really tune in with that inner voice inside, then hierophant, you know, allowing that energy to be shared and to go out there and to take that action. But, and I will catch you on the next one tomorrow. Oh, missed it. <laughs>